is a big issue in Baton Rouge over the years. For those living around Ward Creek, you may soon be able to put your mind at ease. Well, Jacqueline Kissick spoke with city leaders who are busy with several flood mitigation projects, but one project is costing millions. Jacqueline. Well, Renee and Jacob, city leaders say more than 20,000 pounds of debris have already been removed from Wards Creek and other major projects. They say the goal is to help people dealing with massive flooding, even at a costly price. A couple years ago, my brother was flooded, and I know a couple of resident people in the neighborhood, they were also flooded. Lately, Louisiana has experienced nothing but droughts and wildfires. Flooding issues are still on a lot of people's minds, especially for those living by Ward Creek. Every time it rains real hard, they get real panicky and, and because I know that because they call me. Picking up those phone calls is Fred Rayford, the Transportation and Drainage Director of East Baton Rouge. The Metro Council approved more than $2 million towards the Ward Creek Distributed Detention Project, funded by the FEMA Hazard Mitigation Grant. We're looking at ways to try to retain some of that water in what we call detention areas. The map you're seeing is War Creek, along with other bodies of water that tend to flood. The map shows the 10 potential water detention sites the building plans to build. Building those sites drain the water back into the canals. These type of uh, infrastructure improvements will help us reduce our flow, but also does not push water downstream any faster than it needs to be. Helping our parish, but also others like Iberville, Livingston and Ascension. The next step of this two phase project is to conduct a survey, making sure the 10 sites are right for the city. I know that the homeowners um, in the neighborhoods that I represent in my district are very concerned um, about Wards Creek. Councilwoman Lori Adams says her phone also never stops ringing. She says this new flood mitigation project will hopefully bring some peace of mind for the residents. And I think what we're seeing um, is that that work, that investment is um, beginning to pay off and it's going to definitely pay off long term. Fred Rayford says the survey will hopefully be completed within the six to eight month time frame. Now reporting live in studio, I'm Jacqueline Kissick, NBC Local 33 News. All right, Jacqueline, thank you for that tonight.